York Yankees second from the bottom with a 226 team batting average and that's what Steven Cruz and after him Alec Marsh have in front of them tonight. So LeMayu is getting ready a good second half of the season after really struggling in the first half to find his stroke. There's a base hit to right field. Velasquez will cut it off holding LeMayu to a leadoff single. And a runner at third now with two away. For tonight's cleanup hitter, it's Jake Powers. Very high to shallow center field. And Drew Waters is there, looking up into a sky that matches the Royals' uniform. And Steven Cruz has another scoreless inning as an opener. Clark Schmidt, even Steven on the record, 46 and 146, walks to strikeout. So Garcia at third, Melendez is at first, and that brings up Nelson Velasquez. And his only hit last night was a single and a run scored in the big first inning. Off the the end of the bat and coming up from left is Pereira and it's going to drop a play at third and Melendez is going to beat the throw and the Royals take a one nothing lead. That was a perfect touch on the swing. I could tell that was going to fall right off the bat. So Garcia scores easily. Melendez first to third on the RBI single and now Velasquez has driven in 34. So three singles have produced a run. Steven Cruz the first now Alec Marsh in the second. It's been a good one two punch. Talking to Matt Quattrero about it today he said the goal with Marsh is for him to become a starter. Oswald went one for four last night hit a double. Ground ball up the middle and grabbed there by Witt. Oh the first not in time. Witt shown a lot of range but Peraza's got speed he picks up a single. But the athleticism to get up and throw that from his knees with that much on it and make this even close or play is remarkable. Got him leaning out at first base. Oh yeah. Quick feet thrown to Prado with quick hands. Gloves on the on his right hand, so he's a lefty and he just slaps that on his hip before he even gets in there. Take that. Third pickoff for Marsh. Now a 2-2 pitch with one out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball and down goes Ashioka. After a leadoff single, Peraza's picked off. Igashioka strikes out. Bobby Wood Jr., who gets to lead off an inning. One shy. Uh, 50 stolen bases. There's a base hit into right field. Fasten your seatbelts. But he needs just one more steal to join a pretty exclusive club. There he goes. The pitch is a strike, and the throw is in time. Wow, wouldn't you know it? Kyle Igashioka throwing out 9 of 64. Make it 10 of 65. Perfect throw. That's what it takes to get him. So one out in the bottom of the third. Royals up one nothing. Base is empty for Salvador Perez. Oh my! High fly ball left field. Fair ball. <laughs> Good timing. Into the Yankees bullpen behind the left field fence. Salvador Perez tees off his 23rd home run of the season, and the Royals lead two nothing in the bottom of the third. Oh yes, this is no doubter. Had plenty of height. And that is 22 RBIs for Salvi over his last 19 games. You see what you're doing, man? They're going to tell you what you're doing. Looking at me and say, well, he's kind of a big oaf. But no, I've got moves. He does. I'm telling you. I've got rhythm. Is that rhythm? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's eight straight pitches out of the strike zone for Alec Marsh. Back-to-back -back walks to start the fourth. Here's Oswaldo Cabrera. 0 for 1. Switch hitter batting lefty. That one is ripped into right center field. It's a base hit for Cabrera. Torres scores. Bowers goes to third. It's an RBI single for Oswaldo, and it's 2-1 KC. A well, nice job by Oswaldo, ready to hit. You get a hanger, you jump on it. RBI single for Oswaldo Cabrera, and the Yankees get on the board. It's 2-1 Kansas City. A runner at third is Bowers, Cabrera at first. So here's Everson Pereira. There's a base hit to center field. That'll tie the score. Bowers scores, stopping at second, Cabrera. Pereira with an RBI single win, nodded it too. One of the better swings we've seen Pereira have. It's just a bullet right back up the box. And after two walks to start this frame, both come in to score. Yankees able to tie it up here in the top of the fourth. Runners will move up to third goes Porter. Prado goes to second on the wild pitch from Clark Schmidt. He has not been at, at his sharpest. He has an ERA just under six See. over his last eight. Two away, runners at second and third. 2-2 two -two game in the bottom of the fourth. He dropped a breaking ball that whispered across the inside corner for strike three. Crowd boos, Garcia doesn't like it, and the Royal Strand too. And gives way to Colin Snyder. Colin Snyder, heavy sinker baller. So with a runner at second and two away, here's Estevan Florial. Hitless and two at-bats. That one is looped into center field, it's a base hit. 
Higashioka the rounds third, he'll score, and the Yankees take a 3-2 lead. Esteban Floreal with a good job of fighting this pitch off. Higashioka scores, it's a go-ahead RBI single for Floreal, and the Yankees take the lead. 3-2, Bombers in front. Way outside, another walk. Back-to-back, -back, two out walks. And that loads the bases for Glaber Torres. Lined into center field, coming on is Blanco. He can have the plate on a hop. Two-run score for the Yankees. Moving to third is Judge. A big two-run single for Glaber Torres. And the Yankees lead 5-2. to two. Glaber Torres comes through on a 3-2 pitch, lining into the center field, and the Yankees score twice, a two-run single. Well, here it is, the long-awaited 2023 debut of Frankie Montas. So just getting back out there on the Major League mound, certainly meaningful and important for him and for the Yankees. Back-to-back -back hits for the Royals, and the Royals have runners on second and third with nobody out in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss, big strikeout on the change. Porter down swinging, and that will do it for Montas. Good way to finish. He leaves with a lead. Yankees will go to Weiser. Weiser this year, 15 games, ERA of almost four and a half. Strike three, got him. He comes on and strikes out two to get out of a jam, and the Royals leave two. Good job by Weiser. Frankie Montas likes what he sees. Hamilton ERA is a set of 2.73, 38 games. And the Royals are just one for 11 with runners in scoring position tonight. Two on at the moment with two down. They need Prado to come through here. And a throw back to second, and they got him. They get Massey at second base. He's picked off, Hamilton to Volpe. A pickoff by Hamilton, timing play with Volpe, and they got Massey asleep to end the inning. As the Yankees try to get the final three outs in their 82nd win of the year, and here's Clay Holmes trying to pick up the save. It'll be his 24th. He's 23 of 26. This should do it. Volpe, and that will do it. As the Yankees clinch a winning season for the 31st year straight, last time they had a losing season, was 1992.